Hey guys, welcome back to Renderbots. My name is James and today we're going to look at building you a small ident. It's going to look something a little bit like this. So there you go. Nice and easy. <laughs> okay, so what we can do, let's jump straight into Cinema 4D and let's see how we can do that. So first off, what we're going to do is create this kind of um, tunnel. The way we can do this is click on our area here. We're looking for something like this tube here. Let's give it a click. Now, the first thing we're going to do with this is change the radius inside of here to make it a little bit thinner. There's a few ways we can go about doing this. It's kind of grabbing these areas like this. Well, you can see down here, we've got this inner radius here. So I'm going to just set this to maybe um, 191. As you see, that's all automatically give me that nice thin rim there. The outer radius, I'm going to set that to maybe just 205, just something nice and a bit thicker. That's what the height we're going to go for uh, 1300, something like that. So it's made that nice and long. Now, what I can do is move my key here, and there, there is my kind of tunnel. Now, what I want to do is actually start to rotate this. If I hit this button here, we can see that I can now. Um, go down here and rotate this very simply like that. Boom, there we go. So I can try and get that roughly where I want it to be, 90.4, something like that. But if I look down here, we can see I can actually type in here 90. Just like that. Oh, there we go, 90. Press apply, and that's applied it directly. Okay, so I've got my tube. That's what I want. I can move this key and have a look inside of it. Lovely. Uh, right, next thing we want to do is add some Motex. So we're going to click on the Motex key here, MoGraph key here, and press Motex. Now straight away inside the tube, you can see I've got this little mot uh, little uh, text box appearing here. So what I'm going to do is click on my Motex here, and type in uh, RenderBots like that. Okay, cool. And as you can see, that's given me um, RenderBots there. Now, what I'm going to do is just take that down and we see the height of it set to, to 200 there if I highlight this area here and just type in 50 that's going to shrink that render box down for me now if I can zoom in again these little uh, camera movements up here really easy to uh, maneuver around so let's click on that there it is let's go to my rotation as you see from here click and drag this around so again I'm going for like this 90 degrees. Okay, but again, I could have typed this in here. I'm gonna to go to my movement key up here. This is my movement key. And uh, I'm gonna pull that with that. There we go. And I want that to try and maybe come towards the end of the tunnel here. So as you can see, I'm moving this around here. Drag that to something like that. So it's gonna be sitting inside of my tunnel. There we go. Okay, looking good. So that's my tube with my text inside of it. Fabulous. Right, next we want to do is put some sort of texture inside of this tube. So to do that, what we're going to do is go down to uh, this area here. Now before I said go to create and click on new material. So we're going to take an upgrade from that today. We're not even going to do that. All we're going to do is just double click in this area. Boom, there you go. It's given us our little um, gray sphere there. Now what I'm going to do is double click that sphere. It brings up the word color. And for the first time, we actually load a texture into this area here. See the word texture? So if I follow that all the way through to the end, we have these, these three little dots here. Now if I give this a click, it now opens up my desktop, and on my desktop I've got this uh, white bricks texture. I'm going to give you the link to that uh, in the description underneath, so you guys can grab hold of that as well. Let's press open. It says this image is not in the projection part. You want to put that there? I'm going to say no. So let's click on no there. And straight away you see the, the little texture of the brick that I'm going to use. It's automatically loaded into here. That's all I need to do. So once I've done that, give it a click. And now quite simply I'm going to grab that texture we could drop it into here, but probably good practice is to drop it straight on top of the tube, like so. Boom, there you go. 
and now as you can see it drops in there for me so if I look around all this you can see the texture's automatically been added to the inside and the outside of the tube and of course we're just interested in the inside with that done we can have a look at that let's just press the uh, the render button my favorite button there you go and it's giving me this kind of cool little render icon here that's not too bad so that's that's looking pretty good hit the render button again just to see what that's going to look like so this time what we're going to do is uh, give us a bit more like oomph to the whole thing and we're going to add a light in here to do this i'm going to click on the little light bulb and just choose the word light okay cool so far let's hit the render button and see what happens okay nothing too great right now don't really like what's going on here but we see the light is positioned here we can move this backwards and forwards and we're using z space to do this okay and so what we want to do is change the attributes of this little light here and the way we do that we've got the light highlighted here and all the way down inside here we've got the word omnidirectional light and we choose lots of other things inside there but this time i'm going to say visibility is going to be set to uh, volumetric Okay, so it does some cool stuff. It kind of looks like this kind of genius sphere going on inside here now. But let's go and have a look and see what that looks like now. Whoa, very good. Yeah, that's very good. That's what I want. Okay, looks pretty good. Uh, and to give it a bit more sort of uh, texture inside of here, what I'm going to do is inside this light object, we're under general at the moment. General's highlighted there. I'm going to go to the word, let's take a look at the word noise here. Okay. And this it says uh, noise is set to none. I'm going to go to illumination. And then with illumination done, it's, it's got soft turbulence there. Let's have a quick look at the render and see what that looks like. Um, not bad. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go to soft turbulence here. Give it a click and go to hard turbulence. Yes, that's better. Look at that. Looks kind of like you're in some sort of a vein. And I really like that. That's really nice. So let's bring our camera nice and close here. Let's have a little look at that. And press the render button again. Magic. That's exactly the look I'm going for. So what I need to do is now um, bring a camera into here. And we're going to move that camera from the back of the tube to the front. Okay, and then we're going to spin the whole tube around. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on our camera icon here. Click on camera. There it is. And we want to be able to look through the lens of this camera. Okay, so to do this, we've got to go to camera over here. Use camera and then choose camera. And what that does is that puts us inside of the camera lens now. So we're actually looking through the lens of the camera. We want to also, also set this up for rendering. So before I get, do anything else, I'm going to go to the Edit Render button here. And as previous projects that we have worked on, I'm going to go through this very, very, very quickly again. We'll go to Film and Video. Choose HD 720. Okay, that gives us a nice good resolution to work with. Also, we can change current frame to all frames. Okay, so it's going to carry, it's going to record everything for us let's go to the word save of course we need to make this save to a location so go and hit these three dots here and we'll save to desktop as um, mini ident like that let's give it save it to a desktop we're going to hit the word save like that and uh, finally here we're going to go to um, let's save it as a quick time which is all the way down here Go to the options and just save the animation as H.264. Okay. Pretty quick. Hope you got all that. And I'm just going to enter that. Now, what that means to us, what the reason why we've done it now is because we can actually see through the lens of a 720p camera now. So we're going to get it looking exactly like the end shot that we that we need. So let's uh, let's want it to kind of end here. Let's hit render again. See what that's going to look like. Yep, yeah, looking pretty good. So quite simply, we're inside the camera lens because if we go camera here, we can see that the tick is there to say we're going through our camera lens. All right, guys. So let's bring our camera down to here. Okay, and then we're going to hit the record key at this point. Okay, so we hit the record key, and that's automatically put a keyframe at the start of our animation here. 
we're going to move this to 36 okay and we're going to draw our camera back to the end position so there we go where the word render box is going to appear there okay that's magic that's exactly what I want and then we're just going to add that keyframe there right so let's uh, press rewind press play Bump. there we go so once we get to that point there we can see I can stream that back that's the end point now what I'm going to do is going to go back to here and what I want to do is kind of rotate this tube okay so I want to rotate this tube so to do that I think what we're going to do is going to go to here uh, let's let's put a let's put a keyframe here and let's put a keyframe at the end here but what I'm going to do is when we put, get to the keyframe here we're going to hit the rotation button here and I'm going to rotate this around here to maybe 180 there you go something along those lines 180 and just drop a keyframe there boom there we go so now when I hit rewind press play yeah looking pretty good right Okay, so you guys got luxury of rewinding that and um, slowing that whole process down. But as you can see, that's going to look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and render that. So let's press pause. I'm going to hit um, this uh, render to picture viewer here. Okay, so I'll just give it one click. And as you can see, it's going to render that whole process for me. So you can see what that looks like. So we'll just drop back in a minute and have a little look. Okay, so that's finished. Um, it's finished doing the whole render. So if I hit the minimize button here, hit the minimize button here, I can go and have a look at this uh, mini ident on my desktop here. Press the space bar. And there you go. So you should get something um, pretty similar to that. So there's lots of variants on that, guys. I'm really letting you kind of... Uh, push the boundaries on this. I really want you to have a feel and get a play for this because you know this light here If I give this light a click, you know, we haven't got to stick with um, a normal colored light You know, we, we start off with a white one But actually, you know, you can go in and click on this little white bit here and maybe change the color of the light There goes a spooky sort of uh, red one there um, Give it a click again. We could come to some kind of blue one again hit render have a little look at that so as you see, there's, there's so much you can do and play with this. Again, I've just used the boring kind of font here. Normally, I kind of want to go for the RenderBots font, which is kind of this alien one like that. There you go. You know, maneuver into position like this. So once again, guys, thank you so much for um, watching this video. I really appreciate it. I've now got a Vimeo channel up as well, so if you're not on YouTube or you're a Vimeo fan, then you'll find me at um, vimeo.com forward slash renderbots, so I'm now there as well. Um, please follow along with my Twitter account as well, so it's um, at render underscore bots, and um, send me your projects, let's see uh, what you come up with. Um, that's it for today, thanks for watching, um, happy rendering, take care.